we're asked to use the graph of f of x to determine the limits and determine the equations of the horizontal asymptotes. First, we have the limit of f of x as x approaches positive infinity. We know the x-axis is a horizontal axis, positive infinity is to the right, and negative infinity is to the left. To determine the limit of f of x as x approaches infinity, we move to the right along the graph and see if we're approaching a specific function value. Notice as we move to the right, we can see we are approaching the function value or y value of negative three, which indicates the limit of f of x as x approaches positive infinity is negative three. Next, we have the limit of f of x as x approaches negative infinity. So now we move left along the graph and see if we're approaching a specific function value. As we move to the left along the graph, again, we can see we are approaching a specific function value or y value, which in this case is positive three. The limit of f of x as x approaches negative infinity equals positive three. Next, we're asked to determine the equations of the horizontal asymptotes, which we actually find by evaluating the limits at infinity shown above. Since the limit of f of x as x approaches infinity equals negative three, the line y equals negative three is a horizontal asymptote. Notice how if we sketch the horizontal line y equals negative three, the graph does approach this horizontal line as the graph moves to the right. So again, one equation for a horizontal asymptote is y equals negative three. Similarly, since the limit of f of x as x approaches negative infinity equals positive three, the line y equals three is a horizontal asymptote. So again, if we sketch the line y equals three, we can see the graph approaches this horizontal line as it moves to the left, which is why this is a horizontal asymptote. And again, the equation of the second horizontal asymptote is y equals three. I hope you found this helpful.